My name is Catherine Housing and I am the Chief of Protocol for the Government of Alberta. And I'd like to welcome you here this evening for this very special evening celebrating Alberta's creative industries in a breathtaking venue. While we, most of you, I hope, have met our honoured guests, I just want to take a moment to formally introduce them. Her Honour, the Honourable Lois Mitchell, Lieutenant Governor of Alberta. His Honour, Douglas Mitchell, who went into the crowd on me. <laughs> His Royal Highness, the Earl of Wessex. <laughs> Can I blame the lights? Her Royal Highness, the Countess of Wessex, the Honourable Ricardo Miranda, Minister of Culture and Tourism for the Government of Alberta, Province of Alberta, and the very dapper Mr. Andrew Mosker, CEO of Studio Bell. And I felt like after all those official titles, I had to give them a little bit of a build-up. So uh, you're welcome to step forward, ladies and gentlemen. You're no longer tied to your pods, so if you wish to come a little bit closer, I'm going to invite Mr. Mosker to the stage to bring remarks. Mr. Mosker. Good evening. It's a real honour to host all of you this evening and to host their Royal Highnesses. Uh, oh. um, good evening, Mr. Mayor. Good to see you. Uh, welcome back. You're just here very recently for a tour. Great to see you again. Uh, it is a real honour to, to have you here tonight and to host their Royal Highnesses, the Earl and the Countess of Wessex. Her Honour, the Lieutenant Governor of Alberta, Lois Mitchell and his honor, Doug Mitchell, and the honor, Honorable Ricardo Miranda, Alberta Minister of Culture and Tourism. A special welcome also to the Honorable Brandy Payne, the Associate Minister of Health, and his worship, of course, Mr. Nahed Ninchi. Wow, we're on the eve of our public opening, and yes, uh, that's a week from today. In case any of you are wondering, that's seven days and counting, July the 1st. And yes, we are so proud to share this moment with so many of our supporters and friends I would especially like to acknowledge the presence of some of our leadership supporters that are here with us tonight. Michael Brown and Susan Veers of the Calgary Municipal Land Corporation. Susan and Mac Van Willigan of the Viewpoint Foundation. The Southern Family. Don, Ruth, David, Jackie of the Taylor Family Foundation. Coral Holdings. Susan Brown of the Bank of Montreal. And of course, both the Government of Alberta and the City of Calgary are also leadership and very, very significant supporters of this project. Thank you to everyone for supporting the vision of building Studio Bell, home of the National Music Centre, and helping to create this unique facility to welcome our esteemed visitors. It's especially fitting to host their Royal Highnesses on the eve of our opening, and as our collection contains some very important pieces of, it just so happens, uh, British ingenuity. Uh, just sort of a nice coincidence in a lot of ways, but given our our countries have so much, so much, so many ties that it's it's not unusual that our collection has so many ties to the to to the to the British um, to the British to the country of Great Britain. <laughs> Before joining this reception, I had the pleasure to tour the Earl through the Rolling Stones mobile. That was pretty cool. I have to admit, um, the Rolling Stones mobile recording studio is over on the other side of the street in the King Edward Hotel. And it's one of the most important artifacts in the collection. Uh, this particular piece of recording technology really re revolution, re revolutionized the recording industry. And yes, some very, very important British artists recorded on it. You may have heard of some of them. And because our countries are so intertwined in so many ways, there's a tremendous connection of music between our two countries that we share, both in the creation of the very, very innovative music that came from the British, particularly the British pop music movement of the 1960s and 70s, and how that influenced so many artists in our country. So some of the highlights in our collection, and I'll just get a little techie for you for just a sec, because for the music fans out there, I just can't help myself, because there's so many wonderful pieces of equipment in this collection that are going to help define music for so many years to come in this country, that I'll just reference a couple of them for you. One, we have the world famous recording console from Olympic Studios. Very, very famous recording studio that closed many years ago. It's, it will be alive and functioning in the west block of this building. To try an A-range console, which is an important recording tool as well, 
used by David Bowie on the rise and fall of Ziggy Stardust, used by Elton John, used by Queen, fantastic, fantastic artists that have really helped define popular music of the last 50 years. And of course, Sir Elton John, historic songwriting piano, one of the few instruments in this collection that really initially got worldwide attention when we first acquired it back in 2004. So needless to say, our ties are very close, not just with collections, but of course with music. And all of this to say that Great Britain has had such an indelible impact on the global music scene, and as have Canada. And we're so excited about sharing our stories together for many years to come in this wonderful facility that is, is on the eve of opening. As we prepare to open Studio Bell Home of the National Music Centre, we are honoured to take this opportunity to give you a glimpse of Canada's newest and most innovative cultural institution. And we hope that you will visit us again next time when you're in Alberta. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mosker. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming the Honorable Ricardo Miranda, Minister of Culture and Tourism. Minister. Thank you. Your Honours, Your Royal Highnesses, General Saunders, Associate Minister Payne, Your Worship Mayor Nehedit Nenshi, Honoured Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. On behalf of Premier Rachel Notley and the Government of Alberta, it is my pleasure to be here with you today and uh, acknowledge the fact that we are meeting on traditional Treaty 7 territory. I thank the Elders for allowing us to enter into the territory and to remain here and gather here today. It is a pleasure to once again welcome your Royal Highnesses to Alberta, especially in this year of Her Majesty's 90th birthday. Albertans were deeply moved by Her Majesty's heartfelt message last month to those affected by the Fort McMurray wildfire. Likewise, Albertans are touched by today's visit of Her Royal Highness to Fort McMurray. And I know that Her Royal Highness's visit has been incredibly meaningful for all of those involved. Building a community, or rebuilding one requires resilience, determination, and creativity. And I think the new National Music Center, which we will have in its grand opening very soon, embodies all those qualities. So it is the perfect venue for this occasion. The creative sector from music and dance to drama, art, films, and books makes an invaluable contribution to our quality of life, socially, culturally, and most importantly, economically. It encourages entrepreneurship, promotes investment, and creates jobs. It directly employs thousands of Albertans, supports economic development across the province, and of course, promotes tourism. This dynamic industry also builds a sense of community and collective identity. It fosters cross-cultural understanding and promotes lifelong learning and volunteerism. We are honored to gather here with some great Albertans who are leaders in this in their respective areas, along with champions of heritage, community, service, and elected representatives. These women and men whose passion, creativity, and entrepreneurial spirit continue to drive the heart of this sector and ensures its ongoing success. We are honored to present them to present them to your Royal Highnesses in view of your support for arts and culture. And of course, the Royal Families a timeless example of public service. Your presence here tonight is a great gift to you, to us. And this gathering is a remarkable gift of our gifts to you uh, from Alberta. <laughs> so on behalf of our, our Premier Rachel Notley and the Government of Alberta, once again, thank you. Thank you, Minister. Ladies and gentlemen, we will conclude the formal part of this program with remarks from His Royal Highness, the Earl of Wessex. Royal Highness. Yes, I was slightly worried about that. Um, anyway, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, um, I was just trying to work out what it was I was possibly going to say this evening. Um, but first of all, Minister, thank you very much to you for your hospitality this evening. We really appreciate um, the, this opportunity uh, to meet with so many people connected with the, uh, the creative arts in, in Alberta. And um, um, what, a, what a fine and thriving community you seem to be. Um, and over the years, when I've, we've had the pleasure of visiting um, this province, I've come across the arts in, in many different ways and uh, um, 
I've been able to visit the, the Banff Arts Centre, which is a completely different sort of setup, but has really pushed this province in the global scene as far as the arts is concerned um, in many different ways, um, uh, down to individual performances um, from throughout the community, um, including throat singers um, from, you know, so, yep, absolutely. So, and um, do we have a throat singer in here as well? Yes. So, um, uh, so yes, and, uh, and so, but that's just the performing arts. Of course, creativity covers a, a huge spectrum and we all know that it is absolutely essential in terms of the imagination uh, that is brought to bear. And, and this is just one example of, of what happens um, when that creativity and that imagination uh, comes together um, to create a new space and a new way of looking things. Um, so I wish you the very best of luck when, with your opening in just a week's time. Mm. <laughs> so, and, uh, and I very much hope that it'll be a space that will be exceedingly well used and inspire many more, uh, in this particular case, musicians, but also other artists as well. So thank you very much. It was a great pleasure to meet so many of you. I'm sorry we didn't manage to get to meet every single one, uh, but so many of you, and thank you very much indeed, everybody. Good night. Thank you very much, Your Royal Highness. The Royal Highnesses, the Earl and Countess of Wessex, are returning home this evening on a very late flight. But before they depart, I want to thank them so much for spending some time in Alberta and spending this evening with us. I'm now going to ask Minister Miranda and Mr. Mosker to accompany their Royal Highnesses and their honours uh, out of the venue to their waiting cars for their waiting flight. So thank you so much.